Well, what we've done th then so far is isolated four centers for a triangle. One is the centroid. That was the point where the medians met. Remember, the median was the, the line that went from each vertex to the center of the opposite side. The point where the bisectors of each of the three angles meet was called the in-center. The point where the perpendicular bisectors of the three sides of our triangle all met was called the circumcenter. And the point where the three altitudes all met is called the orthocenter. Well, it, it, it turns out that these centers were known to antiquity. But an amazing fact about them was not known until the 18th century. And that was that it's an amazing fact, but that for any triangle whatsoever, the orthocenter, the centroid, and the circumcenter all lie on one straight line. And that straight line is called the Euler line. Now, uh, I want to tell you a little bit about why all of those three lie on the Euler line. Now, um, that is to say, why there's a one straight line that contains the circumcenter, the centroid, and the orthocenter. And it's a very clever argument that in fact uses, the, uses some um, uh, theorems that we've seen before about similarity and parallel lines. And here's the way it goes. Remember that if we think about a median of a triangle, that the centroid, the place where the medians meet, is two-thirds of the way down that line. Now, if we go from that center point where, they, where the median meets the opposite side, and we go straight up, that is perpendicular to the center, we're on the line that contains the circumcenter. Because remember, the circumcenter was the place where the perpendicular bisectors of each segment, of each, uh, each side of the triangle, meet. So, so if we go down on the median and then we go up to the circumcenter, and then we take the line segment that goes from the circumcenter to that centroid, we've created a little triangle at the bottom. Centroid, midpoint of a side, circumcenter. Now let's go from the circumcenter to the centroid and go twice as far as that further on and put a dot. Well, it turns out that that dot that we place is going to be the orthocenter. And we're going to prove it here in just a second. Notice that we've really created two similar triangles. Because if we look at the centroid, remember there was a two to one ratio along the median from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Twice as long to the centroid as it is from the centroid to the mid midpoint of the opposite side. But then we go from the circumcenter up to the centroid and then twice as far and we put our dot. So that line is also twice as long by construction. We made it twice as long. And therefore, if we complete the triangle here, that is from the vertex down to this, this point, which is going to turn out to be the orthocenter, we've created a similar triangle similar to this base triangle. Well, since those two triangles are similar, their opposite sides are parallel. You see, because alternate interior angles are equal, the opposite sides are parallel. And therefore, the um, segment that goes from the center of the edge up to the circumcenter is perpendicular to that edge of the triangle. And therefore, the point from the vertex down to this point that we've located, if extended, will also be perpendicular to that side of the triangle. And therefore, it will contain the orthocenter. Okay, the reason that that is now the orthocenter is to, just to realize that we didn't need to uh, be talking about this top vertex A. We could draw the same picture focused at vertex B. You see, because we went from the circumcenter to the centroid and then twice as far up to locate that third point, which turned out to be the orthocenter, and we proved that if we drew the straight line from the vertex down to that point, it was perpendicular to the opposite side. But then if we just turn our picture and do the same thing going from this vertex B, we'll see that the line from B to that same point is also perpendicular to this opposite side. 
And so the effect is that we've proved that that point must indeed be the place where the, uh, the altitudes meet at a single point. And we've proved that those three points, the circumcenter, the centroid, and the orthocenter, all lie on one straight line. And this was a, an amazing theorem of Euler.